Hello students, welcome to this channel. Today we are going to learn the topic domain and range. So in the first video we had learned the topic about the Cartesian product and the binary relations. So based on the Cartesian product where we have given some of the examples and now we are moving on to the next second topic domain and range. So um, when we move on to range and uh, domain first we have to know about relations. That means if you want to calculate domain and range we want to define a function from a non-empty set uh, to another non-empty set so that is the known as we have to define a relation so er, first of all what is the definition of relations appo namakku ee domain and range ennu parayunnathu second video aayittaanu ippo nammal cheyyunnathu idil aadyathe video il cartesian productum adinde problems um aayittu nammal nokki kaynu ippo nammal nokkan povunnathu domain and range inde karyangalu adinde basis la onnu rendu examples um kodi nokkunnundu appo namakku aadyamayittu ariyendathu relations enda what is a relation relation ennu parayumbo a relation is denoted by the notation r nammal ivide parayna notation r aanu from a non empty set a to a non empty set b is a subset of the cartesian product a cross b ee oru adayathu nammal define cheyina relations ennu paranjal it is the set of all ordered pairs nammal ivide define cheyumbo for example suppose a is equal to 1 2 and b is equal to 3 4 then the relation r is the set of all all the ordered pairs possible ordered pairs so 1 3 1 4 2 3 4 3 and 2 4 so these are the relations when we take so in this relation it is a non empty set it is a uh, relation is defined from a non empty set a to a non empty set b so all these relations are the subset of these when i consider a relation like this 1 comma 3 an ordered pair which is a subset of the cartesian product a cross b the subset is how we can derive the subset is derived by uh, the derive uh, by describing the subset is uh, derived by describing a relationship between the first element and the second element of the ordered pair in a cross b that means a cross b will we'll define like this a relation from a to b so subset is derived from the set a to the set b suppose if there is another set but i define a relation from a to b means i can say that i, I must not bother about this element c subset is derived by describing a relation so here a relation is defined between a and b where a is the first set of uh, contains the first set of elements and b contains another set of elements so an ordered pair has to be defined between a a and b that means a cross b is the ordered pair so next one is the set of all elements the set of all first elements in a uh, relation so if i consider a relation like this 1 2 4 1 2 3 4 we are considering a is equal to 1 2 and b equal to 3 comma 4 the relation is 1 3 1 4 2 3 2 4 means in this relation the first element first element denotes 1 2 denotes the uh, domain so remember that first set of elements that means the set of all elements in the set a denotes the domain and the set of all elements in b denotes the uh, images so here when we take here a domain is the set of all first elements in a relation is called the domain of the relation and the set of all second elements is called as the images or otherwise it is called as uh, what is that it is the range so for example if i consider a relation like this 1 to minus 2 3 1 by 2 3 means the domain is 1 Minus two, one by two, the first set of elements, and the range is two, three, 
and again 3 is repeating. So, the range is 2, 3. Apo, e definition kaanamba thanna manchila avunnandu. E set of all elements. First set of elements in a relation ilu varunnadella domainum. Second uh, set of elements. Adana, the second element ayattu varunnadu. Ipo, itilu uru ordered pair A, B, C, D yaanu define chayinnadu ingil. Itilu varunna first element ayya A, C, M parayinnadu. It is the domain A C denotes A set of all elements in A and C denotes the domain and uh, the set of all elements B D denotes the range. So here we have uh, seen the definition of domain and the definition of uh, range. Now the next one. So here we often write it as so that means a function is defined function f is defined from a to b. So here when you define a function f from the set of all elements a to another non-empty set b. So here f of a is equal to b means where a belongs to the set A and B belongs to the set B. So therefore, we can say that B is the image. It will be defined chamber f of A equal to B n angular. B n It is called as the image and A is called as A is the pre-image of B. Remember that A B is the image and A is the pre-image of B. So, these are the things you have to remember. Now, we shall move on to the example. So, here for the function f from a to b, a is called the domain of f and b is called the co-domain of f. It is otherwise called as f from a to b. Let a function we define jambo. a in the domain, b in the co-domain. The subset of b consisting of these elements that appears as a second component in the ordered pair of f is called the range of f. The subset of b consisting of these elements so here the subset of B containing the elements that appears as a second component in the ordered pair of F. That means ordered pair of the function F is called as the range of F. So range definition you have to learn and the range is denoted by the symbol as F of A. So F of this element is called as that means the elements in the set B is called the image or otherwise it is called as the range of F. Now let us move on to the example. So, first of all, let me give you a simple example and another one definition is there. So, our definition is going to go to the next one. So, first of all, we find the domain and the range of the relation. Find the domain and the range of the relation given by R equal to set of all ordered pair x, y such that y equal to x plus 6 by x where x, y belongs to n and x is less than 6. So, how will you find the domain and the co-domain of this problem? So, how will you do this? So, first of all, namada e condition ithinatha parainatha find the domain range thamnatunda or relation defined jayithitunda and also y is equal to given y equal to x plus 6 by x where x comma y belongs to n and x is less than 6. So, this is the condition. So, x comma y belongs to n n varimbo. n denotes the set of all natural numbers. n denotes the set of all natural numbers. So, natural numbers starts from 1, 2, 3 etc. So, that 1, 2, 3 etc. It is a set of all natural numbers and one more condition is given as x is less than 6 that means x takes the values 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 not 6 because x is less than 6. So, it is given here given function remember that the given function when relation is defined are such that the ordered pair x comma y where x comma y is a natural number and x is less than 6 where n denotes the set of all natural numbers and also one more condition x is less than 6 therefore we can say that when x is equal to 
1. Let me take all these values of x. That is x in the oro values the y to substitute the noka whether y belongs to n or not. Then we can say that it is x and y should if it belongs to n, then a that ordered pair comes under the relation. If x belongs to n is given here. If y also belongs to n, then we can say the ordered pair x comma y is in the relation r is in the relation r we can say so first of all let me take the first case when x equal to 1 that means y is equal to 1 plus 6 by 1 that is equal to 7 which belongs to n therefore we can say that we are 1 comma 7 belongs to the relation r 1 comma 7 belongs to the relation r next case when x equal to 2 y is equal to 2 plus 6 by 2 that means 2 plus 6 by 2 is 3 which is equal to 5 which belongs to n therefore from this you can say that the ordered pair 2 comma 5 belongs to r next one when x equal to 3 at the case when x equal to 3 y is equal to 3 plus 6 by 3 sorry 3 plus 6 by 3 that is equal to 3 plus 2 which is equal to 5 that also belongs to the natural number n therefore from this you can say that 3 comma 5 belongs to r so therefore next case when x equal to 4 and x equal to 4 y is equal to 4 divided by 6 by 4 that is 4 divided sorry 4 plus 3 by 2 that is equal to 4 plus 3 by 2 1.5 which means 5.5 that does not belongs to the natural number it is a real number if the real number I the one we can we can't say that this ordered pair 4 comma 5.5 belongs to the relation next one at the case when x equal to 5 so let me move on to the next case when x is equal to 5 so this is not in the relation x equal to 4 up a valid allah at the day, x equal to 5 when x equal to 5 y is equal to 5 plus 6 by 5 that is equal to that is 6.2 that is also not in the relation that is not in does not belongs to n so therefore if we have another mune moon cases matra on five terms la mune moon matra ullo are set load to verna therefore r in the relation la verna set of all ordered pairs a the kiana you collect it and write here one comma seven add the pair 2, 5 and the next pair is 3, 5. So, this is the set of all elements in the relation. Set of all ordered pairs comes under the relation. Therefore, what is the domain? So, therefore, the domain of R, the domain of R is equal to, that is equal to, we can write it as the set of all first elements. The domain is 1, 2, 3. Upon 1, 2, 2. 3 is the domain therefore a range range and dana no kana. therefore a range of r is equal to 7 at the end of 5 again 5 so 5 is repeating right one time 7 comma 5 is the answer so i think you can understand this next one is the next question find the domain for which the function it is given here find the domain for which the function f of x is equal to 2x square minus 1 and g of x equal to 1 minus 3x are equal so we have to find the domain and the domain only it is asked upon the making a calculate here therefore here given that both functions are equal which means f of x is equal to g of x f of x in the 2x square minus 1 equal to 1 minus 3x so therefore namakipa then simplify jaya 2x square now bring this minus 3x to left side up and down minus 3x left side positive 3x 
minus 1 this plus 1 ipparthu varumbo minus 1 equal to 0 that implies this is 2 x square plus 3 x minus 2 is equal to 0 now how will you simplify this 2x square plus 3x minus 2. Ipa nyan idle easy at the naparaya. Ningal kelavarko ariavanudana. This is a quadratic equation. So 2x square plus 3x minus 2 equal to 0 is a quadratic equation. If it is a quadratic equation, it is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. Therefore, a is equal to 2, b equal to 3 and c equal to minus 2. Analo? Now we know that the solution of this formula is x equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Therefore, that is equal to minus 3 plus or minus root of b square 3 square minus 4 into 2 into minus 2 divided by 2 into 2 that is equal to minus 3 plus or minus root of 9 minus into minus plus 8 into 2 that is 16 divided by 4 that is equal to minus 3 plus or minus root of 25 divided by 4. So now you can write this as this is equal to minus 3 plus or minus root of 25 is 5 by 4. So now again you can write it as minus 3 plus 5 by 4 or minus 3 minus 5 by 4. That is equal to in the answer which is equal to the answer is 5 minus 3 is 2 by 4 comma minus 8 by 4. So the answer is 1 by 2. 2 by 4 is 1 by 2 and this is minus 2. Therefore, the domain for which the function. So therefore, you can write the solution. The domain for which the function f of x equal to g of x is for which the function f of x is equal to g of x is the domain is set of all 1 by 2 comma minus 2 is the domain. So this is the answer for this question. So now I will give you one more question. You can write it as find the range of Find the range of the following function root of 16 minus x square. This you try it as a homework. So that you do try this problem and find out the answer for this question. Find the range of 16 minus x square. Hope that you understood the video. So therefore if any doubts please message me. Thank you.